Hi, my channel name is Second Era of Mons, and if you have clicked on this video, it's intentionally 90 seconds is all I ever ask. This is Blind Date. Apparently it's a horror game, but it says, You are going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Thank God I'm so lonely. Don't mess this up. Okay, so it's pixelated. I have a giant nose and a very tiny eye. Ah, oh, but she's pretty though, comparatively to me. I like her red dress. She looks very nice. Hello. I can say hello. Hey. Oh, oh god. You. Oh good, you made it. Oh good, you made it. It sounds better than oh god, you made it. I'm gonna say hey. All right. Sorry, I'm late. I had to take the bus here because my car's been broken down. It's no big deal. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Shit happens. Uh, happens to the best of us. Because it does. It does. It does. Trust me, it does. So tell me about yourself. What do you do for work? I work as a contractor. It pays well. I work as a massage therapist. I work as a software engineer. I'm going to go for a massage therapist. Ooh, sensual. <laughs> you must be a hit with the ladies. Ha! I wish. I'm not much of a ladies man. Uh, not really, no. Um, not really, no. Well then, the woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. Hey, it's been a while. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, I completely understand. It's been a while for me too. Frankly, my friends had to convince me to come here. It's been a very lonely year. 2016th year of loneliness. Uh, okay. So, what's your name? Mike? Chris, Josh, Oscar Mike, Oscar Mike, well Mike you have a wonderful name, so tell me, are you from around here? I grew up here, moved here when I was young, I, I moved here when I was young, I've lived here my whole life, I love it, the air, the trees, the people, gets yeah, awfully lonely out here though, who was your last lover, woo, bit quick on the old, uh, past questions, Pardon? Be polite. You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? Your mama. Sorry, reflex. Uh, it's been a very long time. If it's really that important to you, the woman lets out a long, almost apologetic sigh. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. Well, yeah, it was a little bit. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. Since when was it ever acceptable within 30 seconds of meeting someone on a date to say who was the last person you slept with? Anyway. Um, I've been out of commission. Please don't let it happen again. Remain silent. I'm not one for remaining silent. I feel that I need to fill the silence. <laughs> last night. <nursing. laughs> it's alright. I've been out of commission for a while too. Thank you. The woman offers a weak smile. I, d I haven't even asked her what her name is. So rude. Tell me, Mike, do you cook on occasion? Um, yes, I do. And I do it pretty well. That is true. I make a mean chili and I make good brownies. You know, they say that women look for a man who cooks. It's a very attractive quality. Okay. So how's Emma doing? Who's Emma? Who? What? Why? When? How? Uh, excuse me? Ha! <laughs> do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? How do you know my mother's name is Emma? Uh, I know her, but how do you? You man hadn't mentioned her before? No! Um. Jesus Christ, can you be forward? How do you know my mother? The woman that eyes grow shifty. As, she, as if she's thinking intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me about her. Apparently your mother used to work for the company. Oh my. You must think I'm some kind of creep or something. I... Yes? Um... Oh, that's a relief. I thought she was a crazy. I would hope so. Why are you here? Um... I'm beginning to question... <laughs> Existentially or situationally? Situationally, but that's not quite why I'm it. Why are you here? Why did you feel unknown enough to come on this date? Um, why are you acting like this? You've lived alone for what? Three years, six months, 23 days? 
Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, remain silent. God, you're pathetic. Do you really think going on a random blind date was going to fix everything? I've seen the way you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when nobody's looking. Hey! If no one sees it, did it ever really happen? Uh, please stop. I didn't need to take this. I'm going to remain silent. I can see you shaking all the way from the front door. Nervous to sell. I can see. Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? Yes! It's a blind date! They don't know who I am to go to start off with. Um, I'm going to remain silent. Because this is exactly what you deserve. Okay, you hate yourself on everyone around you, and yet reserve the right to feel lonely. Um, I can't take it anymore. I feel so alone. So empty inside. You've been dead inside. Boom. For years. And you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. I've seen you staring at a piece of rope, hesitating at the top of a building. Am I a suicidey? God, you're pathetic. I need help. I need love. I need... Hmm. I need contact? You need to realise the truth. You need to realise that you are nothing completely and utterly insignificant. Wow, she's a nihilist in the grand scheme of things. You're right. You're wrong. You're insane. You're right. And you're a whiny little bitch whose sole purpose is to be unhappy. Yet, here you are, unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. Why did you? Why? Why did you? Why did? Why? Hang on. Why are you saying these things? I'm sorry, Mike. I feel your pain, and it's coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You, you seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain on a blind date of all things. I just want to be accepted? Everybody wants something, Mike. And frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Mike. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed at home and ordered a pizza like you had originally planned. Why? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mike, in this situation, you need to come back on the counter-attack, okay? She's been exceptionally rude. And, you know, it's time to take control and say hang on a minute this is a blind date we both didn't know anything about each other co coming in why are you here why are you here asking me these questions you Boop. remain silent breathe heavily through your nose I was never going to be the one to fix these problems well I didn't know that but you won't? No, I won't. I'm not going to fix your problems, Mike. I'm just going to make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I followed you for several years. You were my obsession and I've never seen someone so unhappy. Why do I do these things to myself? I don't know. That's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it. On your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Someone you've never met, yet who knows you very, very well. Well, I didn't know that you knew me very well. Have you been following me? I understand what I need to do now, but I don't know if I have the courage, or am I really at fault here, though? The middle one? God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. Then why did you come? You had the option to not come? I'd say I'd made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before I came here. I'm sorry, it's just who I am. It's just who I am. Can you handle me the way I are? I'm about to strip and I'm well equipped. Can you handle me the way I am? I know. However, you need to realise that you can never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're quite frankly destined to be alone forever. Yeah, a girl may come into your life every once in a while. It's just going to be a reminder of what a pathetic swine you are. If you're so in insightful, why are you still single? Um, does it ever get better? No. Plain and simple. You're barren. The desolate life you lead is barren. Does it scare you? Does it terrify you? Because oh boy it should. 
you terrify me because you are alone, completely and utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely and it's just general mess. It's a barren desert. No life, no love, just dry, lonely land. So, in the end, when faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to take control. I'm going to leave. I guess he's not coming. Uh... Wow. Oh, that was clever. Oh. The way it, like, suckered you in, thinking that she was this crazy person, and it was all just in his head. And I thought, I'm leaving to take control. But I'm leaving the... Ah. Oh, that knockout punch right at the end. Wow, okay. That was clever. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Maybe try some different options and see what happens. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. Sorry I'm late. I had to take the bus here. Ah, shit happens. I suppose it does. Tell me more about yourself. I am a software engineer. That must make you a lot of money. You know what they say. Ladies like a man with a huge paycheck. The woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Just try to keep calm. Okay? Take a deep breath. Wipe off your sweaty hands. And we'll get through this together. So, what's your name? Chris? Well, Chris, you have a wonderful name. Am I from around here? I moved here a few months ago. Yeah, the trees. That's the same. Who was your last love? Love? What? You heard me. Remain silent. The woman lets out a long almost. Yep, yeah, that I think was the same thing she did. Um, remain silent again. The woman looks almost hurt by your silence. Oops, sorry. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. I cook on occasion. See, knowing that it's just him sitting there alone, this makes a lot more sense. It's like you've lived alone for what? Three years, six months, 23 days? And it's like that's the type of thing that you get, that goes round in your head. Seriously, what the hell? Yeah, this is the type of thing that you could imagine saying to yourself. It's like, did you really think going on a random blind date was going to fix everything, you idiot? And it's like looking at this type of thing. It's like the stuff that you try and keep inside. The fact that you're nervous. The fact that you feel like you're alone. It's like you think it's obvious to everyone else. Probably tiny things that no one's ever going to even notice, but you think that it's like shining out like a bright beacon and everyone who looks at you is like, Ugh, that guy's on a blind date. How, why is he so alone? Yeah, and the more you keep reading it, the more it's like these are things that go on around in your own head when you're a single person and you've been single for a while. It's like, I know lots of people who are in relationships, so it's not other people that are the problem. It must be me. I'm the one who's alone and single, and it's gotta be my fault somehow. There's there's something wrong with me, and you know it's one of those things for some people. It's true for something. There's there's a reason why you're single. Well, for everyone, there's a reason why you're single and alone. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. I don't know. Look at your life, it's empty, it's lonely, and it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert, no life, no love, just a dry land. So in the end, faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Hey! Hi, I'm Sarah. The woman smiles. Yay, that's much more happy. Okay, I think I'm going to go one through one more time just to see what happens if you remain silent. Ooh, written by Joshua Wilson. One of the options of the names that you could choose was Josh. I wonder, I wonder if that was intentional. Okay, so here we are, remain silent. I'm going to leave. Yes, he's not coming, okay. 
So that was Blind Date. That was pretty cool. I, I liked it. It was it was a very like interesting take on loneliness and like that preparation for going on a first date, especially if it's a blind date, because at the end of the day, if you're going on a date, you're both single and you're both nervous and you're both thinking, God, I don't want to cock this up. I hope that this person doesn't realise what a pathetic single mess I am. It was cool. It was cool. I really liked it. So if you've made it past the 90 second mark, thank you very much and congratulations. If you've made it this far, maybe you're willing to go a bit further. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at RainmakerNO12 or you can subscribe to the channel for notifications of future videos. Thank you very much for watching this one and goodbye.